It's almost a mania <laughs> of speculation that we now have. We have computers with algorithms trading against other computers. We got people who know nothing about stocks being advised by stockbrokers who know even less. <laughs> and, I understand the commission, though. Yeah, it's just, it's just an incredible, crazy situation. And it's weird that we ever got a system where all this equivalent of casino activity is all mixed up with a lot of legitimate long-term investment. I don't think any wise country would have wanted this outcome. Why would you want your country's stocks to trade on a casino basis to people who are just like the people who play craps and roulette in the casino? I think it's crazy, but it happened. And it's respectable. Not with me, but with other people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, and look at look at what the country. I mean, they formed the New York Stock Exchange in 1792 under a buttonwood tree, and it really didn't seem like that was the eureka moment in America. But just look at what's happened using the system uh, for less than you know. Well, you know three of my lifetimes. I mean, it, it's unbelievable. So it, it's worked. Now, maybe it's worked in spite of itself, maybe, maybe with the country. But one way or another, America has worked in an incredible manner. Nobody could have dreamt it. Nobody. Uh, you know, they'd, they'd have hauled you away if you said, you know, in three lifetimes, you know, that, that uh, you know, this place where we're meeting. I mean, it, uh, uh, it became a state in 1867, but 17, in 1789, it asked Ben Franklin or somebody that was walking out of the Constitutional Convention, you know, is, uh, what do you think the prospects are for Nebraska? <laughs> it's, it's, it's just, it's unbelievable what's been accomplished, and it's been accomplished uh, the people who encourage the gambling, they would like to say it's been accomplished because of the, of uh, we've got these liquid markets and all these wonderful things. Charlie would probably say it's in spite of that, who knows, <laughs> but uh, Charlie. Yeah. Well, I don't think we've ever had anything quite like what we have now in terms of the volumes of pure gambling activity that go on daily and the people lathering the gamblers up so they can rook them. And it's not pretty. And I don't find it creates any great glory for capitalism or anything. Any more than a bunch of people throwing dice at a table. What good does that do the rest of the world? It's a great way to become rich, though, just figure out ways to insert yourself into the system somehow. And, uh, you know, it, jobs to some extent self-select and many years ago and, and i've got all kinds of friends in wall street not as many as i had before i had started talking this way an hour or so ago but I, but i really do i, I mean I, I don't people make they let make lots of decisions in life and the truth is that overall the american system has worked extremely well it's, it's it may be very unfair in many ways but it has produced incredible difference in the goods and services available to me versus what my grandfather had available. You know, I do not want to go back to pre-air conditioning and, and people pouring whiskey down me while they, while they drill my teeth or something of the sort. Or any, I mean, this, this is a lot better world. And, and uh, we... Well, I think we've made more be because of the crazy gambling. I think it's made it easier for us, net, over the decades we've been operating. Well, I mean, we've depended on it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we depend on mispriced businesses through mechanism where we're not responsible for the mispricing of them. And overall, we, we learned something a long time ago that doesn't, doesn't take a high IQ, doesn't take anything. It just takes the right attitude. Well, 